early actually going really well for them, right? It's not through their side lane, they're playing through their mid trio, and that's the difference. Oh boy, let's get the dice rolling here. It is going to be game two, RR Kyohoshi versus Yudu Red Giants. Game number two, and now it's up to Yudu Red Giants whether or not can they bounce back and take a W against RRQ. We shall find out because now Versic on his box yet once more. Yeah, but I think in the early game, things are going to be like relatively slow. You do Red Giants, they like to scout for information early on. And based off of how the side lanes are going to go, I think at, the, at this point of time, when we look at the emblems, tank emblems on that x -Borg, to make sure that he basically doesn't lose these trades against the common emblem Arla, I think it's totally fine. You do Red Giants will play towards Turtle side. Yeah, speaking of Turtle right now, because it seems like... YRG, they're playing a little bit more pressure down mid lane this time compared to before, but you know, game one, they focus on XP all the way through uh, to try and get a kill and as well as making sure that both their mages get their level fours, but this time, Yumes, it's just like, I don't care, like, you know what, just do your own thing. <laughs> I mean, that's why they're playing around their mid-trio, right? This coverage is to try and get advantages in the EXP sector because there's no real advantage going down to the bottom side other than to break, like, Skylar's Purify, which Innocent doesn't really care about in the first place as Claude. Mm. Well, Sky's here looking for the invades. He is level 4 as contrast to first is also level 4. He's able to get a trade on the bottom side here. But you do Red Giants, they definitely need those 4s up on Stormy before the fight begins. In this case... Angela, Rinse. <laughs> the interception. This is so funny. A way to kind of break up the top duo to slow down their level four. More importantly, this gives Skies plenty of room and space to actually start pulling this turtle to their side. Yep, now Vin, very close to the tree here. Stormy looking to try to steal the, the implosion here, but Vin says, you know what, you're not getting it. I'm not giving it to you for free. Hold on, hold on. Yep, you see that first thing, stole away the purple buff and left up a small camp in the purple buff camp to make sure it doesn't spawn on time. So guys has to deal with it, and unfortunately, if he goes to the enemy purple buff, it's already too late. First six, one step ahead. Okay. Uh, adaptations here coming from our Kyoshi. Very, I think it's it's something that actually MPO ID does a lot as well. We saw it in Evil's Holy's game, and now Blazing Duet being expended on Skylar. Hearts got being hovered through, doesn't commit it from our RQ Hoshi. So, you do Red Giants, they definitely need to figure out to break the tempo right now. It's RQ Hoshi now looking for the punish here. Yooms is gonna get stunned up as well. First, here comes double implosion, forces a purify, but Yooms. He might die to this here. First blood in the hands of Prams, but Versic is able to find one of his own. He just refused to use that ult. He did not want to do it. He knew he was going to go down, but he still used the flicker at that point. Just like, I'd rather I'd rather lose the ult than the flicker. But regardless, that one kill allows top tier one to fall. Can he outplay this? Oh no. Innocent. Innocent. Oh no. Oh, we oh he's so what? close! Oh, blazing Duet forward here, trying to go for the kill of Skylar, but nope, Skylar gets the Ooh. kill instead. The heals from this Angela. A little bit too much to handle. Meanwhile, Yudu Red Giants loses another one. Great entropy coming in from Skylar. He threw the entropy backwards, made sure that he started walking up, and if Innocent, Innocent tries Wait to trade back, minute. he takes it. He's fine. Uh, okay, Stormy, okay. He's fine, he's fine. Remember, those shadow, uh, the Shadow Strikes, unfortunately, well, in this case, always hits the closest target, and Riz, he's standing right in front to absorb as many projectiles as possible. Oh. Whew, what a game. Uh, what a start coming from both sides here. But now, Skies, he's going to get his purple buff here. He's going to be able to make it up before the first uh, turtle fight. But Vin does give a little bit of information for RRQ Hoshi. So, as of yet, they are going to try and set up this fight here. But overall, both sides got even levels for now. Very even levels. And I think that Innocent is doing a phenomenal job. Made in the meantime, this is what I was talking about. The longer this drags out, Okay, first thing now, Implosion comes in from Stormy, catches a tree, no commitment so far. Hot guy comes in, they need to get out. Stormy gets pinned away here. Can he get out? Yes, he can. You save the day, they fight first thing. That's gonna be the jungler, and now Innocent with the blazing duet and the back line. They find Dawn, Rinse, barely making it out alive. But guess what, Vin getting completely chained out by Yooms here with all the combos. Yooms, how many stuns do you have? Because he's just completely shutting Vin down. What, what is this build on this Eden? And now Skies goes behind tier one.
finds Rins, and that's gonna be Yudura Giants completely shutting down RRQ Oshi. A great play coming in from YRG side. A really great play. Staggering their opponents, and then after that, slowly picking them off one by one. Let's look at the instant replay, because again, the longer this fight goes, the worse it is for RRQ Hoshi. And if they can't find that final slash onto some key targets, for an example, uh, Cram, if he didn't have Faraga armor, Innocent, maybe even Sakai's and Stormy, it would have been way more worth their time. Yeah, but bottom lane though, they do find a pick on Innocent though. And now Yu's gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. Doesn't even get the shatter and Dawn forced to flick it out. Why RG? You know, they may have had the lead. They lose two, but the consolation trade here is gonna be Sky's taking a middle turret for YRG. Now this is what I'm more used to seeing YRG do, right? Just consistent trades all across the board. If we have mobility, oh. we can definitely steal a turret. And my god, how? Huge for Stormy, securing the purple buff. Oh. And guess what? Skies actually stole the purple buff from our Archeoshi. So this time, they will win in the overall objectives, even though they've lost the number game. Yeah, Skies two levels ahead. This is really great here. Unfortunately for First Six, he didn't actually have uh, his retribution when that steal was occurring. So nicely played by Stormy for the time being. Oof, close match indeed here now. Let's take a look at the item here. Skylar finally got his Thorn inside here. He does have a little bit more damage. Entropy comes in, Cram immediately melts his Fraga armor. But again, RQ, do they want to commit to this? Why RG still thinking to apply kill pressure, trying to secure oh. the turtle? Nice sidestep from Perzik. Great, honestly, great, uh, great coverage coming in from Yooms, right? Because Cram, he needs to farm, uh, he needs to farm some energy to get his Faraga armor back before this turtle, uh, turtle dance actually occurs. And that's why Yooms is just hovering nearby in case First Six tries to go for a cheeky play. Speaking of cheeky play, RQ grouped up as five. Skyla in the Lord. He is going to try and mow down Viraga armor here. Krams, no choice but to concede the turtle. As Yudo Red Giants cannot take this fight when Skies is nowhere to be found. They're totally okay with this, but Cram needs to call for help right now before the top pushes in that way because Cram can lose his Faraga armor. Oh no, Stormy uh -huh. going for the implosion as well. They're trying to burst down Skyla. Entropy gets him out to save. He doesn't even use the Purify. Yooms looking for the stun. He gets the chase. Oh, he will have it. comes in as well. Insanity comes in. Skyla gets melt. Counter implosion by Vin will force the flicker. They will lose Cram, but guess what? The collapse comes in. Yooms. Looking for the play, Skies finds one of his own, 2v1. But guess what, Innocent is here, he does have the blades to do it. He's building stacks, he's taking tier 1 here. He wants to kill on first thing, can he get out? He's got the Tutorial's Massage, but no, it doesn't matter. He doesn't even pop it. As you do, Red Giants were able to find a crack in RRQ Hoshi, and they picked them all apart. Now we get to see, right? RRQ Hoshi lacked the tools necessary for a disengage against you do, Red Giants. And that's why you do, Red Giants are taking these super prolonged fights on purpose to make sure stagger the rotations come up at separate timings just to make sure hey no hard card you overextending you're dead every single time oh boy like look at this scuffed fight right like they needed a beautiful they needed a setup right like Arlen's is so far away from that fight and ever since like even though they have a very very good implosion combo here they need to set up with Don and unfortunately to say Don is just too busy doing housekeeping on the top side. So Yudo Red Giants finds a very, very nice opportunity with this fight. I mean, they do need Dom, but they also need Skylark not to get hit by CC mm, anymore, agreed. right? Because he already used his Purify. The fact that uh, that Yooms is able to go back in and Earth Shatter, the question comes down to Skylark. is like, why go back in? You could have waited a little bit more. I understand the footsies involved, but was it worth it? And in his mind, he's probably thinking, I mean, they committed the hard card. I gotta make it worth their time. True. In this case, first take now. He does have his purple buff. Unfortunately for Yudo Red Giants, they are already in position to try and mow down the Lord. He's level 13 as to first take level 11. So that's going to be a, a level advantage on those retribution. Oh, great block. Ram lock. First six can't get into the pit. Oh, Dawn with the final stash. This guy secures the Lord. And now they're going to be committing as well. Insanity comes in. Once you get in, you ain't coming out. Dawn is dead. Whoa. Stormy looking for the counter play as well to try and catch Skylar. But Skylar is going to be fine. You do Red Giants just half a second late. But they will trade one for one. Stormy getting spun around like a top. And uh, unfortunately, ends up dying in that situation in trade for Dawn. But you do Red Giants. Look at the guy. He's level 14 right now. The first six in level 11. Oh, it's huge, but for now, 
they need a way to shut down Skylar because right now Yul is gonna do before the play here. He gets pulled back. Implosion comes in. Innocent is there to provide a little bit of a cover fire, but you know what? It's four guys. You're on your own, Yul. You're dead. Can't do much. So guys, he's gonna try to steal me a buff in the meantime. Just maintain this level lead. Unfortunately, Yudu Red Giants have to pay with blood every single time RRQ Hoshi requests for their tax income. It's just like, hey, uh, have you paid your taxes just yet? <laughs> you paid it for coming into our jungle? Thank you very much. We'll take one back. Yeah, uh, well, for now, with the Lord pushing in, they have to do this without you, Skylar. Popping Entropy here, Innocent. He's thinking about going for the dives. Nope, Stormy goes for the damage here. They're trying to bait out the hearts, God. They do no bait it way. out. And guess what? Stormy gets the stolen entropy. But guess what? what? Innocent <laughs> goes in for the blazing duet. He's taking too much. Skies finish the deal on Skylar. They find the pick. YRG continue to peel them off here as well. Implosion comes in. Vin needs to flicker out of there as well. But the insanity will kill him off. And Crab flicker out of there as well. First thing left alone outside. And YRG gobbles them out bit by bit. I can't believe that worked. It, it worked. <laughs> It was fine. Like, oh. there were so many things wrong with that, but uh, inevitably, YRG come out as the victors and will be cracking open a bit in him. Oh no, Dom is going to be chain stunned as well. He's going to be bursted down. He's dead. He's gone. That's going to be Skies, but unstoppable here. Skies with the finisher on this Dolan. They fight another inhibitor. All will fall. RRQ Hoshi backs against the wall. First sick now. Going to be spawning his way through 4v5. They're making work on towards the crystal now. YRG looking to equalize into game number three now. Another minion comes in. Eight seconds for Dots. Guys, from the side, he's looking for the one shot as well. He's gonna go for the tap as well. Blazing Duet comes in. But no, they don't have the damage. They're a little bit too low. They've got the sustain. Skies finds win. Skylar finds you. Skylar is still alive on oh! the final stage from Don to pull one back. And now it's all about the cleanup crew. Skylar is still alive. Insanity comes in, but he won't fall. RRQ Hoshi holds on. Oh, Don saves the day. I said 10 seconds. Seconds and 10 seconds, Dawn respawns and finds the base defense. But this is still a checkmate angle. Look at this. Look at this. He comes in. First six is trying to deal with this wave as Stormy goes for an implosion play of his own. But while this is happening, Yums, no resources left. Ends up dying before the final slash from Dawn catches the two correct targets, the guys, and as well as Stormy, putting them out of the fight. Oh, the beauty of the Tan in this situation is you're like. Once the entropy is online, you cannot threaten this fight. But meanwhile, the Lord comes in. Do they get security? Skylar gets the Gonna Lord get for RQ Hoshi. But now the rest of his members get run down. Innocent getting one, getting two. That's going to be a double kill for Innocent. As you do, Red Giants will continue with the lead. Lord is going to be able to defend this here. But Skies, he's looking for a cheeky no, play. No, so guy's still alive, but he doesn't find the trade back. And currently, they need to hold on for at least 13 seconds before they have a push here. Oh Why boy. aren't you looking to end it? Insanity comes in as well. Yum's looking for the back line. They want to focus down on Skylar, but it doesn't matter. They take the crystal. You do Red Giants equalizes. We're going to see a game three. We're going to see a game three this game. Woo! Much shorter game this time, but they close it out fast and they rush down the base off RRQ's mistake. They real, I mean, right from the drafting, we knew that RRQ had terrible disengage, right? Once they're in there, they're in there. And uh, you the Red Giants, they 